hi guys welcome to the next video of the restful tutorial series in this video we will look into the message body writer class the message body writer class is responsible for converting an instance of a specific java type to the representation format that is sent to the client in the http response body let's try to understand this by a small example suppose in our user services class we have one method get user info this method returns user object and it doesn't take anything in parameter let's give the http method as that that it get let's give the path and suppose we want to return plain text in the response so at the rate produces we'll have media type as plain text okay so the idea here is like this the, this method will return a user object and this object has user id and email in it let's check the user class we have user id and email in this object so what we want to do is instead of returning the whole user object we want to return user id and email separated by ampersand as string in the response now this can't be done by jaxrs runtime environment automatically we need to tell the runtime environment on how to convert this user object to string format for this we need message body writer class first let's create one user object here set id as 1234 set email as my email id So this is also string. And then return this user object. Okay. So to convert this user object to a plain text, we need the message body writer class. Okay, so that message body writer class will do the actual conversion, and that converted output will be sent in the HTTP response body. So let's try to create one message body writer class for us. For this, we need to create one class that implements message body writer. of user interface so first let's try to create one class my message body writer i'm creating in the same package so we need to implement 
message body writer of user class since we are trying to convert a user object so we need to implement message body writer of user and then we need to annotate this this class with with at the rate provider let's import the package okay so the user class here denotes that we want to convert an instance of user class to some type and for giving the type information we can use at the rate produces annotation which will have media type as plain text so as a whole this class takes user object and converts them to string to produce plain text now let's do the actual coding let's add all the unimplemented methods of the interface okay so this interface has three methods to implement is writable get size and write to now in is writable method we need to decide on whether the incoming object is writable to our desired type and for time being we'll return as true here and in get size method we need to return the number of bytes that should be written in the http response body so this should this should correctly match with what we are writing in the write to method here in the write to method will do the actual conversion so let's start coding for that we'll write one method which will convert this user to string convert user to string pass user object this should return one string let's create this method Okay. Don't get user ID. Okay. Now write this string to the entity stream here. We have output stream as entity stream. So just write this string to this entity stream. Not write. Convert this to byte array. Get bytes. the conversion is done in the get size method you call the same function passing this object here and then return its length okay 
so our conversion is done and our message body writer class is ready now only one thing is remaining is to add this message body writer class in the application class so we have here my application here we need to add our message body writer class yeah, so we are done with our coding let's build this project and run it on the server Okay, now let's try to hit this service from the browser itself. So I have one window of the browser. We'll just give the path name here, get user info. Let's see what comes back. Okay, so we got the username and email ID separated by ampersand. So this was the user object and it was converted to the string format and the same has been returned here by our message body writer. So this is the way message body writer should be implemented. And this is it for this video. Thanks for watching.